All right, you guys. Here we have the side by side. I just want to let you guys know I really, really been wanting to get this thing going. I've actually honestly had it for probably, I want to say like two months now. I am very behind on making videos, although we have been making very slow progress. Uh, I've been working on the Predator 500, the one that we initially got for 200 bucks. If I didn't tell you guys we got it for 200 bucks, we got it for 200 bucks. So that's what I've been working on first, so then we can get to this. But this, I've already ordered the two headlights that it was missing. Um, also, I ended up finding the, not the carburetors, but the EFI here. So, I did find that. It was wrapped up in a shirt. I thought it was missing. I don't know if I even put it in the last video that I posted about getting this thing. Um, I rinsed this thing down because it was really muddy. But... As you guys can see, it's still pretty much in really rough shape. I haven't really touched it. All the parts are still in the back here. Um, but the only thing that I have been doing is... Uh, so I brought the engine over here. I couldn't take this damn thing off. The little cap right here. It, it was killing me, you guys. Like, literally, I think I struggled for like two weeks and I was just scared to break it. I ended up saying, screw it. I'm not getting anywhere like this. Ended up breaking it. I already ordered a new one of those too. I already have that. That's that's how you know. That took like a week and, and this thing's still sitting here. So I wanted to make sure that the engine turned. Um, it does turn. Uh, I don't want to show you guys because I barely got it to top dead center. What I'm going to do right now is I just want to do a leak down test now that it's at top dead center. And then I want to see where we're at with it. If we do need to rebuild it. Um, before what's weird is I know the engine was sitting for a while. But I ended up trying to turn over the engine and it was really rough. But I don't know if it's because it was sitting or because uh, the guy did say it was rebuilt. I don't think so, but I don't know if it was because it was sitting so it was kind of hard to turn. Which also could mean that it has really good compression if it was rebuilt. But who knows. Um, I don't really trust people when they tell me stuff like that, but at least I kind of noted in my head that it might be a possibility that they're telling the truth. Um, but I don't think so in this case. I looked in the actual valves and stuff like that. Let me get a flashlight. I did look in the valves here, and you could see that. I don't know if you guys can see in there. Hopefully, right there. Everything looks pretty dirty, so that doesn't lead me to believe that it was ever um, worked on. If not, I mean, whoever did it, I would have cleaned it up. Like, this one's the one that looks the cleanest, you could tell right there. But, maybe even this one, too. But at least the other side, I know it's the exhaust side, but still, it looks really dirty. If anything, they would have done it, too. But then the other thing that I saw is... There's like gasket maker that they put on. I mean, they could have opened it up and checked it out. But see, even these gaskets, I mean, they don't look new. And it looks caked on, you know what I mean? Like maybe they did the valve, the valve lash on them or something, but I don't think they rebuilt this thing. That's for damn sure. But right now we're going to just do a quick leak down test. Hopefully this works out. Uh, I'm going to do one on each side since this is being two cylinders. It's 800 cc motor. I think it's only like a 734 though cc. Um, but it's uh, supposed 800. So we're going to go ahead and give this a shot. I'm going to put the camera on the stand. We're going to do a leak down test and we're going to see what happens. Alright you guys, here we are. So we're going to do a quick leak down test to kind of finalize our result of the engine either being good or bad. So we're going to figure that out. I mean, that's not bad. It's at 50. Let me search up what it's supposed to be on. But that's pretty good. I don't even get that much with the quads or nothing. Usually I barely turn it up and it's already leaking out so bad. Um, and yet nothing. Nobody still does leak down tests on these, I guess. 
Alright you guys, so I did do a leak down test even though I'm not really trusting um, this uh, leak down test kit. It's one that I got on Amazon but um, the gauges as you can see it's ranging from zero and then it goes um, it goes all the way up to 50, says it's in the green and it holds it but I can hear the hissing coming out of the valves um, up here. So I could hear hissing coming out of the valves. So what I'm gonna do is I think it should be okay because if it was really bad, like, and even the fact that there's no hoses connected and stuff like that, that doesn't help, but it's actually having a decent amount of pressure that stays um, consistent, even though that um, there's nothing um, connected and then the valves might need adjusted. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and I think throw this thing in the quad and I think when I get on oh, the quad in the side by side and then um I think what I am gonna do is uh, hopefully I have enough room in there which I should everything's literally taken apart um, I'm gonna take the valve covers off and I'm gonna see if I could adjust the the lash on the on the valves and make sure those are good and I'll probably do another leak down test my brother-in-law is actually on his way so we can uh, lift this thing up and throw it in the side by side so we're gonna do that it's, I know it's gonna be a huge pain in the ass um, but we're gonna go ahead and do that and then I'll check the valve clearance um, everything else should be pretty decent so I'm not too worried about it uh, but yeah I'm kinda just wondering which way everything goes cuz I'm not 100% sure so I'm gonna look that up right now uh, maybe when I get back to the video you guys will see it already in there but so, yeah, this thing's supposed to go in here. So there should be plenty of room for me to even work on it. I'd rather put it in here. I know the crank probably will not be an issue. Um, cr fingers crossed, hopefully I didn't jinx myself. But um, And then that'll give me enough uh, time to, you know, be doing stuff in here. At least the engine will be in here for the most part. And then I can put it together, take it apart, or do whatever I need to. But it'll be in here. So once I do that, I'll get you guys back so we can check it out in the video. Alright you guys, a little bit later in the day, a couple hours later, maybe like 2-3 hours later. Um, the engine is in, I was checking the valve clearance. Um, I didn't get to do it very quickly uh, before my uh, brother-in-law came so he could help me put the engine in. It's not fully in, as you can see, it's not seated over here. Um, but I wanted to put in the axle over here and then the front one so I wanted to have some wiggle room um, but I wanted to do the valve clearance let me tell you guys it is literally like right now let's see it is 96 degrees where I'm from and it feels like 150 in the garage like my arms are sweating and everything um, and sitting in here doing the valve clearance is like horrible this was probably one of the worst designs ever there was like so many like bars and stuff all over the place that I do not like how the setup is on this thing it's, it's very horrible um, like I can't imagine how many hours it actually takes like a regular mechanic to do this um, prob they probably get paid a pretty decent amount to do this actually but um, anyways did the valve clearance so as you could see I did all of them there's four two for each head um, and I actually have the specs so I was looking at them let's see here so these are the specs um, exhaust is point twenty to point twenty five. Intake is point zero seven to point twelve. So that means the two inside ones, the two inside ones right here, are intake. The two outside ones are exhaust. Um, so that's pretty much the specs. I used this tool. It was the same one from the Honda 250 TRX. It worked out great. Although one of the valves, um, 
the tightening screw that you use like the little square bit it was pretty jacked up so um there's that but otherwise um it's pretty much done so i think now i can actually start um connecting everything so obviously if you're doing just the valve clearance you want to make sure your engine's at top dead center like always um there's plenty of stuff to take apart just to even get in here so you know definitely it's going to be a project for sure like a two-day project unless you tackle it in one entire day but that's probably real hard but anyways we made some progress today um I'm, I think I'm going to start connecting everything and then I'll get back to the video um, probably tomorrow. Uh, like how I said, I I am probably still missing a couple of things. I have to connect the axles, the wiring, um, the water hoses. Uh, I have to order an oil filter actually, which I might do right now. Um, I have to get oil for it. I didn't check the belt, which I should have checked the belt. Um, that I had it out, but I think I'm just going to roll with it. If anything, I'll just take it apart again. It's not that big of a deal to me, but it is a pain in the ass. But yeah, this is where we're at, you guys. Um, hopefully, um, next video, you guys will see a whole lot more done. And, uh, we're going to get going on this thing because I really, really want to drive it. Even just around the neighborhood to test it out. I want to see, like, how fast it goes even though it only goes like probably like 50 60 miles an hour I think I, I read it but anyways this is why I haven't been recording you guys it is ridiculously hot in Arizona especially in the garage and I have my door open I have two fans going I actually have a swamp cooler um, I don't know why I didn't bring it that's probably a good idea I'll probably bring it um, tomorrow while I work on this thing, but I'm pretty much done for the night. Um, we did make some progress, so that's definitely good. I'll get back to the video probably within the next couple of days when I start putting stuff together. I'm not going to probably record it just because it's all basic. I mean, I didn't even take it apart, so I'm not 100% sure how, how everything's supposed to go. So I guess uh, I'll have to figure that out. So it might take me a couple of days. Some diagrams and everything which I already looked up. But yeah. If you guys uh, like the videos. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe y'all. Uh, plenty more videos coming. Plenty of more stuff going on in the garage. Like always. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Peace.